All right, hi all. Uh, this is my review of the Eonon D5102 for the Mazda 3, 2000, uh, 2008 and earlier, I believe. Anyway, so let's take a look. The uh, startup time is actually pretty good. Uh, just a few seconds. I've got it playing right now from the SD card, which it supports uh, HD SD cards up to 32 gig. I've got a 16 gig in there, but uh, and it sounds quite a bit better than the stock head unit. I do have to say that. And uh, in here, as you can see, this is the volume control. Uh, this is the selector. You can go up and down, select it. And as you can see, it does check the uh, ID3 tags. So that's really cool. Well, we're getting a lot of glare here. Uh, touch screen, going up and down, is, uh, is quite responsive. I have about 100 songs on here. I don't have a huge library. But as you can see, it's, it's quite responsive. It not only does it support music, but it does support photos and video, although I don't have any on here. And I only have everything in the root folder. I don't have multiple folders. But if I did have multiple folders, they'd be there. Um, from the bottom, you can see it supports random, repeat, uh, sub-T. I have no idea what that is. Loud, it just makes it louder. Makes no sense. Uh... That's just a keypad. I really have no idea what that's for. And, um, that, I really don't know what that's for either. But, uh, you've got your regular, uh, mute, uh, backtrack, play, pause, stop, next, uh, left, right. So it'll do mono left, mono right, or stereo. And it's got, uh, it'll show the on-screen at the top there, on-screen display at the top. So that's the music. Uh, just to say, it, it remembers which area it was in um, the last time you turned off the car. So I had it playing this when I turned off the car, but um, if you had it in the radio, it would go to the radio first. So let's go back to the main screen. This is the main screen. Uh, mostly everything is pretty self-explanatory. Let's check out the radio. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, I think it timed out on me. So let's let's check out the radio. Uh, the radio is actually pretty good. Um, as you can see, you've got the Mazda logo. Uh, let me see if I can clear up this glare. I've got the Mazda logo. You can you can configure whatever, like, there's a, a ton of configuration logos that are in there for different car dealers, car makes. Um, of course, you would probably want to pick the Mazda one, just because you have a Mazda. <laughs> um, it has a ton of presets. I only use, like, three different presets. But you can you can check them all out. And as you can see, it does RDS, so that's uh, the radio digital system, I guess. Um, so it'll tell you, it'll show you what uh, what station it is, or whatever station it is. It'll actually do. It'll it'll show in letters what the station's putting out putting out. So sometimes it'll have the song name, sometimes the station name, stuff like that. Yeah, this one this one's scrolling across the uh, name of the song, artist and song. But it supports uh, as you got you've got your controls down here, volume up, volume down. Uh, it'll do seeking 
Um, this will change the band so that I'm on FM. You can switch it to AM. Well, there's two FMs, three FMs, and two AMs? Yep. I just use the one FM. That's all they really need. I don't listen to the radio all that often. I usually listen to my, my own music. So that's the radio. Uh, we can go back. Uh, it supports playing discs. I don't have a disc in. Uh, but DVDs, CDs, MP3 CDs, all kinds of stuff. Um, Bluetooth calling. I have it paired with my phone. I'm making the recording on my iPhone, so I can't really show you that. Although I can show you that it's connected. And I can show you that it does do address book stuff. So I've got some addresses in here and stuff like that. Uh, CD changer, I don't have one. Uh, USB, it's not plugged in. SD was where I was before with the SD card. And it's going to load all my SD card stuff again. Uh, aux, I don't have the aux plugged in. iPod, I don't have the iPod plugged in. But that's it. BT Music is, is Bluetooth uh, A2DP. I use that sometimes. Um, GPS audio off, you can actually turn off the GPS audio if you want. You can set the time, do some audio setup. How's it going here? I like this. This is really cool. You can change the treble, the bass, and it's got some uh, presets in here for pop, rock, jazz, roll, and flat. You can have loud, which just kind of does more bass. And uh, there's a beep. As you can hear, when you touch something, it beeps. I think it's stupid, so I just turn it off. Uh, and I generally like the flat. You can set the uh, the fade and the balance as well. I don't usually play around with that too much. All right, what else do we have? Uh, another thing that we I do have is the Navi Path because I am not using the stock navigation that comes with it. I'm using iGo. iGo Primo. And uh, let's play with that. You can use pretty much any GPS navigation that will work with Windows CE 5 and lower. So that includes iGo Primo. Uh, there's uh, uh, Tom Tom, I think there's uh, there's a few. It comes with Sidejik, which isn't bad. The the Sidejik one is pretty good. I've got that um, on the on the SD card that it came with. Um, the SD the SD card for the GPS is up here. The GPS SD card is a maximum of two gig. Um, it's non uh, SDHC, so you got to get a regular one. Um, which is pretty good, but I just like I go Primo a lot better because you can show you can it does some stuff that the Sidejik one doesn't, such as keep logs uh, and, and so on and so forth. I think the I go Primo actually looks cooler, and it's got more points of interest, so I can keep it up to date more better. Uh, for example, if I want to find uh, places like a gas station it'll find me the closest gas station there's like a, a million points of interest and let's go to the husky it's just up the up the road for me and uh, it'll calculate my route and let's go and uh, it does voice prompts and all that good stuff. Um, and basically, I just think it's uh, the iGo Primo is, is better than the Sidejik stuff. Um, now that I've got it broken in, it's actually pretty fast on booting, as you saw. Uh, it took a while <laughs> to get it to boot the first couple times, and there was a little bit of troubleshooting involved trying to actually get it to work properly. But it works now. So that's cool. Uh, and the navigation, you can switch back using the Navi button. 
Uh, oh yeah, uh, physical buttons. SRC is for source. That'll toggle through like the radio, SD card, stuff like that. Uh, phone for Bluetooth. This will this will take you to like creating a call, um, answering a call, stuff like that. Band is for um, AM, FM. Mute will mute. <laughs> Very hard. And also, if you hold it in, it will turn off the screen. So if you're driving at night and you don't like the screen, just hit it again. Uh, this is the volume, and you can actually use this to turn it off as well if you hold it. Uh, this is the selector, and you can and you, if to pick something, you press in. Uh, backward and forward tracks, eject for eject the disc. Actually, do I have a disc in here? I do have a disc in here. Um, now it's going to switch to the disc because I just put one in. And of course, Navi for the navigation. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think this device is great. Uh, the first one I got from Yonin um, was actually defective. Anytime I had a GPS card in the slot, in if I had any SD card in the GPS slot, the unit would freeze and it would not start. So I had to send it back and get another one. Uh, but the Eon and folks were great. Um, they even cross-shipped it as long as I, I gave them the tracking number and proved to them that the unit was on, their, on its way back. They shipped one out right away. Um, even though it did cost me, because I live in Canada, quite a bit of money to ship it back. It cost me about 100 bucks to ship it back. Um, but they shipped it out. Uh, they shipped a brand new one out. Um, in a couple days, and I had it in a couple a couple days after I uh, sent that one back and uh, sent them the proof that it was on its way. So, Yon and Support is really good. Um, the unfortunate part of Yon and Support is that they are halfway around the world. <laughs> That's the only bad thing about it. Other than that, uh, they've been great, and uh, I really like the device. The device is amazing. Um, it's fast, it's responsive, it does pretty much everything I want. Uh, you can see fuel consumption, like, I go Primo, Primo is really, really awesome. It does a lot of stuff. So, yeah, that's my review. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.